Intermission comic number 186, and I was right yesterday, which is not really all that much of a feat, because, after all, this is the comic that I drew myself. Uh, so I was right that we're going to explore Dr. Zero trying to get himself an apartment. <clears throat> I suppose I will require a domicile, yes, an apartment to call my own. I must procure one for myself. That's a lot of me, myself, and I's in that one. I will show these mortals that I can survive in this dimension. Yeah, give them hell, Doc. Later. I need your finest lodgings with laser-guided sonar equipment. So, Teehee, he uh, has to go through the exact same steps as Kenny and Jeff in finding an apartment by talking to Mr. F Filch? Finch? Filch. Flinch. Damn it. Okay. Flint. So, Filch. Mr. F I'm going to go with Mr. Filch. I'm wrong, aren't I? Oh, that's going to bug me, because I don't talk about him. Mr. Whoever. The real estate guy with the comb over the teeth. Bam. There he is. Teeth. Check mark. Or checker. Checker board. What do you call that? I can't think of anything today. Check, checked jacket. Checkered jacket. Comb over teeth. Bam. There he is. Let's stop talking about that and talk about my crappy perspectiveness going on in the second panel. Now, unlike the blurriness of the earthquake, or the sh shuddering earthquakeness comic, uh, I think that was a base one. Jeff standing in the background, normally it would be blurred out a little bit because, you, you know, for that kind of perspective, he'd be blurred out and. Dr. Zero obviously is the foreground, Kenny's the background. It's not that Kenny's shrunk, it's that he's standing much further back, but I could have blurred it a little bit to make it a bit more obvious that he was sort of out of focus and further further in the background. I didn't do that, so mainly this looks like some sort of imaginary friend standing on a toadstool. That's right, I went with toadstool. <coughs> I have something in my throat. Probably not a toadstool. There you go. I can talk out of my water bottle. Ooh, does it sound like I'm on old time radio? I don't know what made me do that. Yes, I do, and I'm not telling. You guys all know what I did that anyway. I'm <laughs> in a weird mood. Domicile. What a strange word. I suppose I will require a domicile. An apartment to call my own. I must procure one for myself. I must... Well, that was infuriating. The uh, recording cut out. But anyway. Uh, I think I was talking about the word domicile and procuring one and just repeating itself several times. I must procure one for myself. I don't think I need the for myself in the end there. But Tom will tell me what I'm doing wrong grammatically. Oh my god, he's a stickler for the grammar. But aside from that, the sort of change in... I don't know how often I do that at the top where there's a little bit of exhibition of later dot dot dot. It goes on up at the top. I don't think I was planning on doing that, but I did not much else I wanted to say in this one, so we'll move on to comic 187, which will be tomorrow.